Hey everybody. So I'm working on shimming my hub here. I thought initially my rotor was warped, but it's actually the hub that is bent slightly. My runout's about oh, seven thousandths of an inch in this area here, but you know the further out you go, the, the greater the runout becomes. So I bought these shims online. Uh, let me find the part number for them. Okay, there's the part number for the shim. And they're kind of pricey. I think I paid 18 bucks a piece for them. I had to buy two. Typically, you're not supposed to use two, but they didn't have the uh, thicker ones in stock. So I had to buy two of these. They're supposed to be six thousandths of an inch uh, difference. So and if you look at them here, you've got a notch right there. See that notch? That's your low side. And if I had two hands here, I could measure this for you. I can. So the low side, we're looking at 20, 20 thousandths, 21 thousandths of an inch. We'll go to the high side. We're looking at 23, 24. So they're supposed to be, that's one thing where I'm concerned, confused is, they're supposed to be six thousandths of an inch. Um, I ordered six thousandths inch ones, but they're only three. <clears throat> so I had to go back and buy another one. Anyways, I've found the low and the high side on my hub here, and marked it, and just installed those shims. And we'll put the rotor on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the rotor temporarily mounted on there. And this is my little dial gauge here. It's just a magnetic base. And now we can see we've got this out of the edge of the rotor also. There's the max there. About two and a half thousandths of an inch run out. So that's within limits. Um, the factory limits were I believe zero to eight, so eight thousandths maximum. So I've got two, that's pretty good. And the next thing I'll be doing to this car is probably installing some Willwood brake calipers. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.